What's going on everybody? Welcome back. I know I said the last video was the last cube, but they have apparently extended the cube for one more day. So we got quite a few more drafts in us now, and now I'm feeling rejuvenated. We have seven trophies? That's actually a good amount. I'm liking it. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I feel like recently we were talking about how we have not seen this guy recently. And here he is. If Sneak Attack or Stoneforge or Council's Judgment comes back, I'm going to be okay with that. Or Kiki Jiki even. We're definitely taking the Jace. Before Oko, this guy was the uh, the dude. This was the dude. Through the Breach? Second pick Through the Breach is pretty nice. There's also a Steam Vents and a Metamorph. I want to take the Through the Breach. Because I, I definitely want to try to exploit some fat Eldrazi's. I should have refilled my drink when I left. Instead, I went to the bathroom. I took two more Ibuprofen because my head's killing me. And, um, got a piece of mozzarella to tide me over. I did, I forgot my drink. Well, my drink was in here, so I had to bring it with me, and I just didn't bring it with me, so... Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. 61? It's not bad. Today, expect a high of 66 degrees. High of 66, man. I don't know what that ding was. I usually drink a ton of water. So it's, I don't think that's typically not the issue. But I'm still going to drink more. Um, I don't think my screen is super bright. For some reason it does feel like a dehydration headache almost. Like it's like this like dull pain. I think it's like right around here. Because like I'm feeling like my eyes are... I want to close my eyes and stuff. I like a Frost Titan. Oh, Mox Diamond? We're just going to take Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond is a jam. That's a bop. Um, have you come in contact with any Aetherborn lately? I don't think so. I think it's been a, I think it's been a little bit. Also, never consider Mox Diamond a land in your deck, because if you do, you're going to have a hard time casting Mox Diamond. Thank you. You mean land diamond? <laughs> TMO, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Fiery Confluence is actually a card that I absolutely love and rarely get a chance to draft. I have not seen it this this go around. I'm gonna take it. And I'm okay. Oh wow, that went quick. Ooh, metalworker. I don't think we're metalworkering. I do think we can Lightning Bolt, though. I mean, Lightning Bolt is just solid, right? <gasps> also, we might do some, uh, some Commander Legends drafts as well, because those seem pretty sweet. Um, probably just... Oh, Preordain. Yeah, let's take a Preordain. If it's if it's banned in modern, it's got to be decent, right? I haven't, 
I haven't. I feel like I haven't seen Affinity in a few days. Hopefully everything is okay. Oh, I think Affinity's in here now. Maybe maybe everything's fine. This deck needs thousand years storm. Current, have we learned nothing? Oh, fire ice. Oh, and a mole drifter. Oh, I think I like mole drifter better than fire ice. Affinity is online. <laughs> Thank goodness. I think I like mole drifter better. Is Commander Legends 1v1? If it's a 1v1 draft format, I'm totally okay with that. I think I like Maldrifter better. Oh, wow. Wandering Fumeral. Give it to me. Give it to me! Stoneforge did come back. Interesting. I think it's probably the better card in the pack. It could also leave us open to a Jeskai deck. It's not 1v1? That makes me sad. Lightning Helix goes well with our Wandering Femur our uh, Stoneforge. Multiplayer? I'm not a huge fan of multiplayer on MTGO just because I don't feel like you have the, the real estate for it. Well, someone did take... I want to take Oblivion Ring. I think having Oblivion Ring is better than... Eh, none of these are exciting. I'll just take Heroes Downfall. Siege Gang is fine. Oh, three four player games? Yeah, that's brutal. Wow, Dark Dwellers is not terrible, especially if we get Ancestral or Time Walk. One time. Oh, that they want their sister of the time I walk. No? Really? No, Loco. Also, Teferi. So there's no good blue or red cards except for Riftwing. It might be worth branching off into, like, one of these dudes. I mean, Oko is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Oko. I think that upside is just too high. Hmm. Got Venser. And Taiga for the Oko. I'm going to take the Taiga. If Venser or Glorybringer comes back, I'm going to be pretty grateful for it. Oko is not banned from Vintage, no. Cause I'm gonna make a scene. Um, this does not strike me as a particularly good Force of Will deck. I have been actually pleasantly surprised with Commit. I don't think it's Vortex. Trigon Predator could also be the pick. But I'm not sure I want to splash that much green here. So We could also take Tundra and then just be all... Just be all the colors except for black, and then we can still play Stoneforge, Lightning Helix, Obliterating, and the Tefri if he comes back. We also already have Mox Diamond as well. And nothing else good is in this pack. Yeah, I'm gonna just take Tundra, or uh, yeah, Tundra here. Interesting. Wasteland, and we've already passed Strip Mine. That's interesting. I think it's actually just Shark Typhoon here. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any good through the breach, uh, peeps. I definitely don't want to take this if we're going like four colors. I'm going to take Shark Typhoon here.
Um, yeah, I actually like a braid a lot. Being able to kill another artifact is pretty good. I don't think we're a Yorion deck. Uh, I also don't really care about explosion expansion that much, and it might even table, which I'd, I'd be fine with. Batter Skull seems pretty good since we already have Stone Forge. Scalding Tarn also very good and get Taiga or a blue source. Nine cards, so only one of these is coming back. My guess is Kithian. I'm gonna take Batter Skull. Tarn does get all of our colors. It's definitely true. It's definitely true. I took Batter Skull because it gives us two more playables. I kind of just like Ravel Master here. Or Jace. The, this Jace could be fine. I have yet to play him. But I do like that it's a flexible... 3-drop or 5-drop. I'm going to take the Jace. Huh... This pack's not super exciting. Giver of Runes is not... Meh. I'll just take Copter in case we end up being a Copter deck. Glorybringer came back, which I like a lot, actually. Trigon Predator also came back. Actually, Swords the Plasher is if we're playing the white. Sword seems really good. I'm just gonna take a Leshnorn. <laughs> uh... Gideon? Sure. Oh, look, the Kithian was the last pick. Perfect. I mean, so far through, the Breach is not really holding up its end of the bargain. We will play Oblivion Ring and Lightning Helix if we are playing the White, which it looks like we should be. Chrome Mox. I like a Volcanic Island a lot. Yeah, we're taking Volcanic Island for sure here. Yeah, this pack's not super exciting. I don't know where all my power went. It was never your power to begin with. Scarab God seems banging, but the one color we're not is black. I like Remand. I like Ponder here. We already have Preordain. Ugin's great, but it's expensive. We don't have any ramp, really. So I kind of want to be a little lower. A little lower on the curve. I'm going to take Remand. Zorius Signet and a Treachery? Oh man, they're really hitting me in the in the sweet spots here. Uh, no, if you're in a league, you face anyone in the league. It doesn't have to be from your pod. It's gotta be Treachery, right? You like Signet over Treachery? 
boy, I tell you what. Taking the treachery. Treachery is like power 1.5. Like it's just or tier two power. It's either two tier 1.5 or tier two. Like it's such a good answer for like, like if they have Ulamog, if they have Emrakul, if they have you know Gristlebrand, it's just such a great answer. I kind of like sort of body and mind because we do have. Oh, we only have three creatures in our deck. Wow, that's something. What do we got? Muldrifter, Glorybringer, and Stoneforge? That's pretty wild. Oko makes creatures, Shark Typhoon makes... Actually, maybe this is a hardcast Shark Typhoon deck. I'm going to take Euro here. Yeah, Young Pyromancer might actually come back. I can see it. Oh, Arid Mesa seems fantastic. It gets all of our colors as well. Wow, that's really good for us. Oh my god, we're also an Omnath deck? Oh my god, I really hope the Omnath comes back. Do you know how much you spend on magic packs for a month? I haven't spent money on magic packs in... Probably at all this year? I don't know, like... I do not spend much on magic packs at all. Um, Snapcaster seems fantastic here. I mean, this just seems like a Shark Typhoon deck, right? Those Verdant Catacombs, what does that get? It gets literally just Tiger, right? Hmm. Is Bloodbraid Elf good here? We could hit Remand. Actually, Bloodbraid Elf doesn't seem terrible. Shatter Skull Smashing also could be good. I kind of like Bloodbraid Elf. Ugh, oh, that's unfortunate. Could have been a plateau. Tireless Tracker seems okay. And Tireless Tracker seems pretty good, but I don't want to have that many green cards is the problem. Actually, this is a mentor deck for sure. Hey, Kavu came back. Yeah, but with only, like, four creatures in the deck, I don't think... I don't really want to play, play Imperial Recruiter that much. I think Mentors... Uh, I guess those weren't in the same pack, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Needle Spires came back. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, yeah, we don't need more playables. Yep, there's the young Pyromancer. No respect. This actually seems pretty good. That's exciting. We are for sure playing Omnath here. Oh, what up, Bretorino? I actually don't think I care about commits memory. We need two cuts. Huh. Mentor is any non-creature spell, right? Yeah, that's pretty good, because it hits Planeswalkers, too. You can probably get Euro. 
Then again, I feel like our graveyard is actually going to fill up relatively quickly, and having both of the Throne of Eldrain broken cards is pretty nice. So, you know. Is there enough equipment to care about Stoneforge? I mean, like, we could cut Stoneforge and Batter Skull for sure. If we draw if we draw the Batter Skull, it's kinda rough. Well, you don't need this on turn three though. You could also just play it as a five drop. Plus we also have Jace, we also have Treachery, so like we're blue is actually one of our more well represented colors, if not the best represented color, especially with these two and this guy and the commits of memory, so. So this is five. Arid Mesa gets Tundra, so six, seven, eight, nine. I like that. White, we have one, two, three, four, five. Eh, it's actually probably fine. Red, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably cut one here. And green, we have one, two, three. Eh, probably second green there. Four, four green seems fine. We also have Mox Diamond for everything. Yeah, I kind of like this. This seems good. Plus, Mentor and PZ seem great together. I mean, obviously. We also have a bunch of good options. We have we could bring in Batter Skull, Stone Forge. We have a Lush Norn if we face a deck that might that might be good against. We have Flame Tenkavu in the sideboard. Even Smuggler's Copter is a card where I'm like, eh, maybe that's good enough. Oh yeah, I can't imagine like... I mean, it's still just a 4-4 that draws you a card, right? It's just like a... It's kind of like a half mall drifter. Plus, like, any future land gains us 4. If we manage to crack an Arid Mesa after playing Omnath, it's real good. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We can get a Tundra with this and have all our colors plus a Mox Diamond. Gonna lose my mind. Gonna lose my finger. I'm cracking now. Get Tundra. Okay. Seems good. I would have loved an Oko or a Jace. Oh wow, they're doing like construction nonsense. And you can hear it. Oh, here we go. They're gonna play their own Oko. That's... That's less exciting. Unless you're getting Stone Cold Serpent. Jesus. The old Mock Sapphire Soul Ring deck, huh? This is the worst part about Mox Diamond right here. You're looking at it. If it was a Mox Sapphire, it'd be in so much better shape. Wow, uh, we can keep Commit up.
Yep. Oh boy. Gonna have some of your invention. Give it to me. Would love to cast the clerk right here. See what they do. They can have another card, I guess. Oof. Give them the gorge. Also, lightning bolt Karn and hope to hit a a land for the glory bringer. So now they have copper line gorge, and that's it. So we know nothing about their deck. Oh, we did hit a land. Fascinating. Might as well kill this guy. Because if they if they end up killing this or getting rid of this somehow, I don't really want to leave this guy on the board. So I'd rather take a turn off, get rid of a permanent, and then when they do deal with this guy, you know. Seems okay. Kerwood, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm sure I'll see you around. I'm sure I'll see you around the around the water cooler. So special, so special. One, two, three, four, five. They have Leovold, which makes commitors, right? Yeah, just passing here. I think they get to draw Karn. I don't know what they took. It makes me so sad. Carnarino. Sure. Oh, they didn't leave double black, so if they got Heroes Downfall to kill Glorybringer, it doesn't work this turn. That's good. They're probably gonna get Leovold. They did get Leovold. You got it. Oh, I'm definitely stealing Leobold here. Mm. 
They get to draw a card. That's okay. Oh, man. Oh, we're going to steal Leovold, then cast Commit to Memory? That was a play. Also, because we targeted Young Pyromancer, they drew that card for the turn, and then they got to keep nothing off of the memory. Wow. That went well. Wow, dude. Thanks for the Leovold. Untap my lands. Cast memory. Draw seven. Discard your four cards. Might want to get that Mox out of there. I don't think so. I still don't think so. Because especially because we have so many three-handed Planeswalkers that like... Oh, interesting. I don't love this hand. Wow, that was fantastic. That's like the, the that was like the vintage cube turn right there. keep this fire compliments actually seems compliment confluence seems really good against them i'll keep this pitch incinerate we're gonna keep the greediness of the hand just need some lands Okay, any white, green, or red source, and we get to cast Omnath. <sighs> green, white, ready, Omni boy, eating those omelets. Rude. Still get to draw a card. I'm still good with it. Nothing exciting here. Well, that's unfortunate. Got two five drops. A four drop that I want to cast when they have nothing on board. Snapcaster on the target and an oblivion ring with no sure, that's fine. I think we just attack Liliana with Glorybringer. I mean it gets rid of Liliana in two turns. And if they do manage to kill this, then we just get to O-ring it anyway, so. I'm not really scared of the zombies. We have Fiery Confluence. 
I do think they have Hero's Downfall in hand. That's my concern. Impulse. They're looking for here. They're like, let me find it. Hand is looking good. Also, Snapcast her Fiery Confluence to deal 6 is pretty good. Oh, wow, they hit it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh boy. Um, got plenty of white. Got plenty of red. Let's get a blue. Yep. Cool. They have like no creatures. They're just making two twos, which is fine. Yeah, we're just gonna fire confluence here. Oh man, Affinity, that's a great, that's gotta be a great clip, right? Oh wow, that looks great. One, should've got another red, I guess. One, two, three, four. Now we're still one shy of being able to like activate this guy. Cast do one image each creature twice. They have no artifacts. Oh, well, they milled their own fiery confluence. It's a lot of planeswalkers. They also have Karn and Dak. One card in hand, we just have no way to pressure their planeswalkers right now. It's kind of frustrating. And I guess on the bright side, they have nothing to get back with Liliana, and if they destroy all creatures, it's fine, but still. It's an interesting attack. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah. 
You got one card. Sure. Massacre Worm, eh? What is this? Something I could steal? Boy, I can only hope. Oh, it's gonna be Null Priest of Oblivion? Sure. Oh boy. Nice last card. Yep, we are out of red mana as well. That's good. I mean, I feel like we have a good number of Planeswalkers. Jace the Mind Sculptor, the three mana Jace, Oko. Not really sure where they are, though. Just getting Massacre them back. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to treachery that and then wipe the board. Yeah, they're just going to attack with Wandering Fumeral. This is actually... Wow, we could actually, like... So they take six here, we go to eight. Oh, we don't have enough fire confluence. We don't have double red. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So we could Treachery, Steel, Massacre Worm. Not having double red here is super bad. God, I really want a Treachery, Massacre Worm. Snapcaster, the Fiery Confluence. They take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I mean, it doesn't matter. We don't have the double red, so. We kind of just Jace bounce this guy, and we take six. We have to bounce this guy, otherwise it just kills us. And then we take four, I guess. Yep. I'm actually very tempted to save Jace here. We get one draw if we don't do this, and that's significantly worse. And they don't get to replay Massacre Room here. That's actually kind of huge. Signature. Oko. Interesting. 
So maybe we steal this guy. Hmm. Create a food. Now they only have one attacker here. Oh man, this game is intense, dude. So they have one attacker on board, one, two. They don't have any attackers. They're returning the Gonti. Sure. We know two of the cards are lands one is a mountain, one is a wandering funeral. Doretti can. Yeah, they can get rid of the zombie with the ready. That's fine. Because I guess they can I guess they attack with fumeral then. That would be unfortunate. I guess we I mean like we don't die, but if they want to kill one of our planeswalkers. I was assuming they'd want to cast a uh, mask worm because that just seems better. Oh my god, they did the wrong they did it the wrong way, which everyone does. They targeted the construct with Doretti. Oh yeah. That's how you win. That's how you win. Oh boy. God. Not great, Bob. Oh my god, they are going to cast Mask Worm. And then we're going to get to remand it. Oh yeah. Now the question is, do we Oko for the food, or do we actually just... Because next turn they get to play Mask Quorum, it kills this, we go to two. They kill the food with the Doretti. Like, we're still not in great shape. I also think we eat the food. I think we just have to get past four life. It's a good way to do it. That is not bad, you are correct. We can also exchange these, which is actually pretty sweet. Man, that, killing that Mox Diamond was so bad for us. Just put Arid Mesa on the board. We don't have another green source to get with this, right? Because they killed the taiga. Oh god, young pyromancer is actually just a. It's actually just a liability next turn with the um with the mask worm. We know that that's in their hand. I'm gonna put these two back. Shuffle them away. Wow. 
How are we still this live? Um, just gonna make another food here. And next turn we get to bring Oko back. Or Euro, rather. Oh my goodness gracious. Man, this is a hell of a game. They're just making a 2-2. They have seven cards left in their library. Is it possible to just deck them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Again with the Massacre Worm. So it goes, uh, one worm. It's second from the top, right? Target spell and all for instance are second from the top. So it goes top card. Yep, okay, that time I think they got it right. So they do get to kill Jace here. But we know we have Euro and we have Oko still making. Yeah, this is this is a game we still have. Plus, we do have commit to memory in the in the in the graveyard here. Okay, we knew we were drawing that, which I wanted to keep because of the wandering fumarole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's go to Island, Needle Spires, Remand, Mesa. Preordain. Because if we do end up committing to memory, I want to just have good cards left. Don't be a land. Mole Drifter. Ooh, I like a Mole Drifter. Alright, we should have some good Massacre Worm protection here. If they kill something with Doretti, that's totally fine. Did you make a Mimic Vector way back in the... I swore I played at FNM. Scouring your YouTube now. I don't think we have Narset in our deck, unfortunately, but... That would be great. Okay, that was their one. If they want to use Liliana, they have to risk milling their, their Massacre Worm, so... They could also just return, like, Ophiomancer. It's not super exciting. Yep, that's fine. They still die next turn? I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take two here because if I think what they want to do here is uh, get get Gonti in the graveyard so they can bring him back with Liana, which is just super value. Yeah, memory shuffles. Otherwise, oh man, that'd be sick if we're just like draw seven, kill you. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we can swing over and hit Liliana or Doretti, which is actually pretty sweet here. Huh. Huh. 
The elk should definitely be negative one. So we know they're hitting Massacorum next turn. That's their draw. They're going to kill our Moldrifter, which is unfortunate. We can actually... So what we can do is we can actually kill Liliana here. Alright, here's what's going to happen. And then if we actually turn their Gruul Signet into a 3-3. And like abrade their Construct. Then they don't have any artifacts to sacrifice. Alright, let's get rid of... Taiga, Mox, Oblivion Ring... Glorybringer and Snapcaster. Alright, not the best draw. We also have Monastery Mentor. We're definitely not playing this guy until we... Chain control of target artifact or creature and target with three or less. So we can actually trade our Moldrifter for a Gonti. I don't love that. So now they have no artifacts. So they can't sack anything for Duretti. Which means we do get an attack with Euro. Sure. Was that mine? Oh, that was my Lightning Helix? Okay. Seems fine, actually. Four, five, six. Yep, here he is. The guy you've all been waiting for. Lose Mall Drifter, sure. We do get Wandering Fumarole to activate, and they're also at 11 now, which is pretty good. Oko's at 10, so he's basically just a permanent that we... We have to just keep around. Yep, big construct. Can't stop that guy forever. Ugh, we might just have to actually commit to memory here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to take two here again. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. We pay two for Pyromancer. Oh, we can actually just make Massacre Room at three, three. That's pretty nuts. Uh, we can't exchange it because it's got to be power three or less. That would be really good, though. We could incinerate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd have four mana left over. Um, we want to keep one green up. So I'd want to keep all three of these in a green up. I kind of want to incinerate the snake, 
Then they just double block. I think that's actually fine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can play pretty much anything we draw. This guy have trample. No, that would be pretty good, right? I really have no idea what the play is here. This is actually quite a complicated game, unfortunately. I'm just going to play Pyromancer and keep up Incinerate. Now that Masquerum is just a generic dude, I think that's fine. We can also incinerate the Construct, so again, they don't have a way to kill our, our Euro. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. They're just going to kill Euro, which is pretty bad for us. So I'm actually just going to do that. God, we're just wasting. We have five, they have five cards in their deck. Is there any way we can get them to draw five cards? Okay, that's fine. We really just want to hit Fiery Confluence. <laughs> yeah, it's an easy block. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually Shark Typhoon, play Commit to Memory, and put a five, uh, six, six on board. That's interesting. Yeah, Confluence isn't our graveyard, but we have Commit to Memory. I don't want to attack with the Euro first, because then it just goes to the trash can, but I guess that's like, I guess that's fine. Interesting. Yeah, I'm watching the clock. Yeah, we figured that was going to happen, which is, I think is fine. And I think we're just going to go commit to memory here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We just lose lightning bolt. I think that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a hand, dude. Uh, exchange control. I mean, we both have seven cards in hand, so... I should have done this before we did this, but I don't think it matters, really. Yeah, that's... sure. If you want to waste Heartless Act on a... Yep. Of course, we drew all three of our two mana burn spells and not our one mana burn spell. If we block here, yeah, I think we're just dead now, actually. We just kill ourselves. That sucks. Block here, take. Cool. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh, wait, they just went to. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Heaven forbid I draw a fucking lightning bolt when I have six cards left in my library. 
And we have three minutes to win the match. Sure. That's fun. <laughs> this is going to go well. I'm putting a Leshnorn in. <laughs> like... Uh, keep... Yeah, there's a lot of ways I could have lived, but when I have three minutes on the clock, it's really hard to come up with every fucking decision that's possible, so... I guess I lost. Get a tiger. Oh, and it's fucking easy to be here having all the time. I don't know what that means. Let's just play a mentor. This guy is 100% dead. They have a million removal spells. Oh yeah, Verlin, very, very, Verlin, very, um, I, I appreciate that. It's just like, it's hard to hear like, hey, you could have you won if you did this instead. And I'm like, well, I don't have time to do that, man. Like, discard two cards, you got it. Every game, huh? That's pretty interesting. One, two, three. And this guy just gets better, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure they have Assassin's Trophy. What do we get? Another white? Probably another white. Yeah, we have double red, double blue. Not Assassin's Trophy. Ooh. Just attacking with fumarole. Oh my god, and they skipped the combat? Oh, phenomenal. Just so nice. Oh, that's a... That's a whew, that was a draw two off a of Mole Drifter, man. Let me tell you. Sylvan carry added. You got it. I think we're doing well here. Attack and attack. They have two cards in hand. And our hand is pretty stacked. So as long as we can win in four minutes, two minutes, two and a half minutes, I think we're actually okay. No blocks. Oh, they didn't even... F did they did, did they flip it? Did they flip it? I don't even know. Um... Um, they're at four. I kind of just want to keep up Shark Typhoon. Like, it puts a 3-3 three -three on the board, so unless they can kill both of these guys, they're dead. If they kill Glorybringer, they still die to Shark Typhoon. This was a match, dude. Woo! Alright. I had a tiny bag of chips while I was gone. Can you guys hear me? Am I like, am I good? Okay. A little nervous, but all right, this seems fine.
Micro Mox, huh? Okay. Wow. Wild. Shorty 50, good game. I actually, I said good game, but apparently I wasn't live, so. There's a lot of things here that, uh. No, it was definitely on my end. It's something weird. When I was gone, like, the encoder stopped working or something, so. Oh, well, we definitely got to kill that thing instead. Pump? Pump? It's safe enough to wait until they... What? Temporarily? Sure, great. I'm in the middle of a game. Get your shit together, Magic Online. Uh, so this puts it at level 3. Got him. Solid draw. I don't really care about getting this guy off the board. I'd rather just actually draw another card because I do want to hit lands and cast Glorybringer. Okay. How many Lilianas do I have to deal with? Land. Chase the Mind Sculptor. I feel like we have the same deck. You got it. Give me that fiery confluence, man. Swords. Let's preordain here, see what we can hit. Uh, Jace is interesting. That's a nice long game plan. Right now, I'm kind of like incinerate Liliana, swords this guy when the chances. Because they have one card in hand. I think this is actually pretty good. We take eight here, which is a lot, but oh, what up, music manly? Oh, this is nice.
Now we're drawing Jace. Sure. It's actually totally fine. Um, I kind of like Snap Preordain here. Or Snap Helix. And then untap into Jace Mirror Mage. They don't have a second blue, so they can't actually cast the other half of command. Even if they can, we can still Snapcaster. And then the only thing we lose is Jason Mox. Got a second blue. Oh, are they doing it? Interesting. I mean, I'm okay with drawing five cards and having the first crack at what I draw. Wow. Hmm. So what we can do is kill this and both their creatures. Oh, we didn't even draw for the turn yet. Mox Diamond. Okay. Hmm. We can play Jace for three. Yeah, I kind of like that. Two to each creature and destroy an artifact. This one. I mean, it takes them off two mana. Oh, risk it for the biscuit. Sure. Seems good. Also, we can next turn this Jace with this Jace is real good. Sure. What's a small inconvenience that can totally throw off your day and ruin your mood? Here's mine. It is a small piece of crap in my eye that I can't get out. Well, that's actually painful. Yeah, that that's really annoying. Oh, we just win the game. I guess they go commit to memory, we have two Jaces, and we just win. Okay. Seems good. I did get my video card, actually. Oh, the box is over there now. But yeah, it's in there. Here's the old one. This is the old Zotac GTX 1080 Ti. It's friggin' huge. The new one's actually smaller than this. What did we see? We saw like a bunch of nothing really. I kind of like Flame Tongue here. Nah, I like Bloodbraid Elf. I think Bloodbraid Elf is good here. I'm taking Mox Diamond out. It keeps... Nah, maybe I'd... I don't know, man. It's really confusing. I'll keep this hand. 
The goose is loose. This is a tiger, right? It's just for sure a tiger. Now we have... All the colors of the wind. Oh man, dude. Oral, let me talk about that one. The the clothes not being 100% dry. But sometimes when I put them on, I'm like, are these just a little cold? Maybe they didn't, maybe they've just been sitting in the dryer for too long. And I think, I think they're just a little bit cold. I'm like, maybe the dryer was really like after like, okay, if they sat in the dryer for like a day and you forgot to take them out, maybe the dryer is a little chilly. It's in the basement. It's downstairs. So like, but then I'm like, oh wait, they're just a little chilly. And then it's actually, they're actually just, they're actually wet. So. I'm gonna braid this. They can tap in a response, but it's a little twofer, so I'm okay with that. You got it. I mean, this is pretty good. I feel like we're doing okay. Shark Typhoon's a nice little... We'll end here. Yep, that's fine. Chase. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. If my room is washing clothes and I'm drying mine, they will literally put all my clothes out still damp when their load is done to dry to dry theirs. Sometimes I don't even let the timer go down. That's that's kinda shitty. I would actually have a talk about that. That's actually really, that's really inconsiderate. Oh, what up, Phil? So much, Frank. Spencer, dude, I'm so sorry. Next September? I mean, that's a ways away. I'm going to kill this because they're stuck on three lands here. So I get a guy out of it. It cuts them off of mana. And we still have Shark Typhoon at four next turn. Which is pretty good. Interesting. I mean, we're definitely in a shark typhoon here. Oh, this is going well. All right. 2-0 again. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good.
Volcanic Island would be a banger. I think we keep this hand. These are very strong cards. All right. At least that's that's Pyromancer round two. Here we go. Interesting. Oh, wow. Well, that's a banger. That hits a volcanic. Or a tundra. Would I rather have a white instead of double red? I think so, yeah, because that leaves... Drawing a blue source would be nice, because then we can go Euro into the blue source into Preordain for young peas. Alright, well, we're probably just going to play Oko, because that seems good here. Oh, it's rotting Reginald? Don't I just turn that guy into a 3 3? Fiery Confluenza. We're just looking for a blue source here mostly, but we have blockers now. Oh, a braid? I kind of want to keep both of these. Oh, man. We just need another blue sword. I think I think Omnath is too good, especially with... Uh... Yeah, we're going to keep both of these. We can also just a braid kill this. Make the food a 3-3. Three, three. I don't know if I want you to discard things, though. A discard outlet might be really strong for you. God, Oko is a real thing.
Any bad roommate stories? Not really. I mean, my roommates have pretty much never been random. It's always been like people I've been in a relationship with or Michael B. Like I lived with my ex Cassidy for like four years. Then I lived with Melissa for like two years. And then I lived with Mike and Felipe. First destroy was the best removal. Actually, Barry was the best removal. Barry was uh, destroy and it cannot be regenerated. You mean you and Michael B were never an item? Surprisingly, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Man, I feel like we're okay here. Snap a braid midnight reaver seems pretty good. Oh yeah, we knew we were drawing that guy. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Ooh, Galda Shrine untapped, huh? This is Assassin's Creed Skyrim. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. Is this going to be uh, casualties of war? <laughs> of course it is. Of oh, fucking course it is. Oh, boy. Boy, that card's hitting me a bunch. Okay, so you're dead. Okay. Is this round two or three? Well, I can't tell. Wait, wasn't there a way? To, someone said there was a way to do things. Um, I got deck, and then change decks. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay. Change. It's the same button. Okay. All right. Never know. God, casualties of war, man. That card has been banging. I thought it was round three as well. Let's bring Flame Tongue Kavu in. 
No, League Details takes you to, like, a web page about the League. Watch this. Uh, I don't even think that's a button. More info? Where, where did you see League Details? Yeah, more info opens up a web page. Anyway. I just want to live the dream of drawing a bunch of lands and playing an Omnath. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Two wins, zero losses, one match remaining. Am I just missing it? It does say that right in front of my face. It's hard because that's not what I'm looking for and it's just plain text. I'm just like not really paying attention. Mike, appreciate it though. <laughs> See, this is a great, this is a great Mox Diamond hand if we draw it on turn one or two. Oh, they just F6 their turn. What's happening right now? Second 3-0 of the day. Feels good. <laughs> Feels good. Let's open... Open that chest. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service if you guys want to play Commander, Historic, Modern, whatever you guys want to play on Magic Online. They can help you do it. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm trying to open this. Yes, open it. It's not going to open. Oh, I think they closed trade, so we probably can't open it. We'll open it later, but thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Get 15% off Mana Traders with the link and promo codes down below. It's a great way to support the channel. Also, definitely consider subscribing on Twitch, on YouTube. It's a great way to help the channel. If you guys have Twitch and Amazon, you can combine them. You get a free month, free sub every month with Twitch Prime, and it's a great way to support the channel as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.